So what happens to your value when you cold approach? Now, this is something that I want to discuss today. I think it's an important topic that people get wrong. Uh, and they probably just get it wrong because they don't have the personal experience to fully understand what's happening when they cold approach someone. So we're in uh, Sydney Hyde Park. Beautiful spot. Good spot to do some DG. But before we kick it off, I'm Dave, and this channel is dedicated to giving you no BS, novel dating advice for the modern man. Top link in the description, check out my website and sign up to do some cold approach coaching with myself. Obviously masculinity, obviously relationship advice, they're all connected into the same thing. But you can't become masculine and have a relationship without, well, I would say cold approaching. Sure you might get lucky online, but if you're online dating, you are always getting a girl beneath them because they always choose a guy who is taller, better looking, uh, around the, the same age range, you know, so that as they depreciate, you uh, increase in value, so you're better than them in that aspect as well everything you you are better than them in every aspect uh if you are getting them online dating so really if you want to punch up and get a girl that you know your dream girl it has to be cold approach i believe but anyway so cold approach every time when you think about this logically every time when you approach a girl you are losing some value and power by doing that Think about it uh, in terms of those uh, charity workers that stand on the corner and they've got a little uh, they've got a little iPad sort of screen and they try to sign you up to charities. Uh, they're coming up to you. They're saying hello. They're trying to talk to you. Instantly, you have the power in that initial engagement because you decide whether you want to talk to them or not. It's kind of the same thing when you are doing cold approach and approaching girls, is that you are chasing, you are pursuing, and they are deciding whether they want to even talk to you. And so you do lose some value, you do lose some power in that initial engagement. And a lot of other guys, they, they often think that when they approach, they need to show intent. When you think about it, when someone's approaching you for, as a charity worker, you kind of understand that they want your money. They want your money somehow, some way. They want something from you. And so generally, when, when you're approaching a girl, generally the girl understands the intent. You don't really need to show it. So let's just say you approach, you lose some power, you lose some value in the approach. And then straight after that, you're telling her that she's pretty, she's got beautiful eyes, you know, the classic, I like your style. The classic uh, ways that men try to engage in a conversation after a cold approach because they don't, they're not really present in the moment. They're a little bit nervous, the adrenaline's running and they, don't, they, they struggle to figure out what they're going to say. So, um, so then they, they come up with canned lines and one of those canned lines is, giving a compliment so imagine this you approach you lose some value then you compliment her tell her that she's better than you again and then you lose some value twice so then you're on you're not only on the back foot because you're approaching you're on the back foot twice as badly because you're giving compliments and to make things even worse because of your canned lines you're not really present so you're not really in a conversation so she starts to wonder whether you have the social skills to really engage in a proper conversation as well. So therefore, a lot of guys that I, you know, they're, they're at such a disadvantage, they get a lot of flaky numbers, girls ghost them on dates. 
that's also related to texting and um, gathering of the wrong information while they're in the interaction as well so what was what was uh, developed a very long time ago was the neg the neg has a bad reputation I don't know why um, I'm not exactly sure how the neg got such a bad reputation when when you think about it I guess a lot of these coaches uh, deep down they they hate men they don't trust other men and they are uh, they're not only male feminists a lot of them the ones that say oh look you can't neg because it's it's uh, disingenuous you you're bullying women or something like that in a way the neg was developed to try and wind back your power because you're at such a disadvantage off the approach. Now you don't have to use that, but imagine if you get, imagine if you've made the mistake of giving out a compliment and then showing more intent. You've lost a little bit of value by approaching, you've lost more value by giving a compliment. Next thing you know, you're trying to give, show intent for some un unknown reason and you've lost three times the value and then the guy's like well the only way to come back from this massive failure is to start negging well how about we stop doing all of those things uh, I call it justifying your existence when you approach you don't need to justify why you're approaching you don't really need to show intent because she would understand that generally there's a lot of guys that will approach and then the girl within a minute will, will, like after he's given a compliment or tried to explain why he came over to say hello to her, she'll go, I've got a boyfriend. That's an indicator that she understands what you are trying to do. You're trying to pick her up. And, and the same guys, they don't, they don't realize that enough to the point where they start changing the initial approach. So... This is a convoluted uh, video, but if you guys have followed my channel, I would much prefer you stop giving compliments and reducing the amount of power and leverage you have off the approach, uh, weakening yourself, and secondly, justifying your existence, explaining why you came over to say anything to her, and third, um, Coming up with canned lines as ways to show intent because I don't think you really need to do any of those three things because all it does is weaken you, reduce your power in the interaction and put you at a massive disadvantage that you don't really need to be in off the approach. So I could go a little bit more in depth but how about I just keep it at that for now. I think that's that's good. That's good enough. Hopefully that made sense. If you do take action, I understand some guys that will leave comments and depending on how the comment is worded, I can tell that you're not doing anything. <laughs> there are guys that do take some action and will understand 100% what I'm talking about. You've taken some action, you've gone out there, you've done some approaches, You've run out of things to say. There's a there's a silent gap in the interaction, and you think I need to fill it with, oh, I had to come meet you because of blah blah blah. I need to show some intent, you know. Oh, you're pretty. There's a few things that a lot of guys, when they start getting into cold approach, they all do by default. You'll be surprised. Don't think that what you are doing off the approach, especially after watching a few YouTube videos, is anything original because almost by default, every guy does these three things and makes these three mistakes. And by watching videos like this, hopefully, you will be able to cut out the long, bad reactions, flaky numbers, uh, the stress caused by spending two years out there gaming and never really improving. How about you just take this advice on board 
and I can cut out a lot of that improvement arc uh, a lot faster. Totally for free, off YouTube, you're welcome. But if you want to get to the stage where you are, you know, you want to get a full, whole, a full understanding of what it is to do cold approach, that's when you uh, reach out to me and do some one-on-one, -on -one, or you do an immersion or a boot camp or something along those lines. Go to the website and, um, you know, fill out the form and uh, we can get onto it. I also do uh, online coaching now, no matter where you are in the world. And, uh, yeah, I think that's that should help you guys, especially if you're new, getting off the ground. Anyway, I'll see you guys next video.